what it in pale green to start the down there. If you follow that pale green line on Maine Tourism's most recent highway map, it'll wind you along several roadways from Portland all the way to Fort Kent. Everything from bustling cities and nice urban centers to little tiny towns that you don't want to blink when you go through. Robbie McKay and her fiance Nate Nipula have spearheaded this effort to reestablish the long forgotten Pine Tree Trail. Did you have any idea what this was? No, not at all. It all began with this old rusty pine tree trail road sign that Nate happened to find one day on his property. Eventually, the two got curious and started to dig. Basically, with the image sitting in front of me and nobody else knew anything about it, you know, I just kind of had to do that, you know. Turns out the Pine Tree Trail is an actual driving route, which state lawmakers designated in 1937. And though its popularity faded, it is legally still on the books. By republicizing the trail, hope is to restore its original purpose of guiding drivers through communities best described as off the beaten path, including their own southern Aroosta County home of Moluncus. But we're hoping through this that it can revitalize all these small communities. It's a huge, huge effort, but we are meeting some incredible people on the way and we're actually building a Pine Tree Trail community. With thousands of dollars already raised, more new signs are going up to mark the trail. A website has already been launched, so far highlighting more than 30 communities along the way, touting reasons for drivers to slow down and maybe stop in for a visit. Trends in tourism nationally showed that people wanted to do exactly that. They want to slow down, they want to do fun things, you know, it's not, they're so busy everywhere all the time. Three solid years of research, fundraising, 